All right, so last time I did a market video was at the end of last week, and I talked about Lightning Overdrive exclusively, talking about some of the cards I would go after in the set, some of the things I did go after in the set, and what prices I would kind of wait for things to bottom out at before chasing them. Today we're going to take a look at some of those that I mentioned and see if they've gone lower or higher. There's already been a few buyouts in the set, which has been really interesting to watch, and there's been some other price rises and things I think are worth taking a quick look at. So this is going to be a relatively short version of Ion Market today, but I do think there's some stuff worth covering. So let's jump into the video. All right, so first off, we're going to take a look at a few of the Utopia cards. With the Zexel stuff officially being released in Lightning Overdrive, some of the fallout has kind of trickled down to cards that the deck might play. Uh, let's not forget we do have a structure deck coming, or at the very least new cards. We don't know whether or not it's going to be a structure deck or if they're going to put them in King's Court. However, Utopic Dragon, right now anyway, only has its two prints, and it is a really solid card. I meant to have the new Challengers one pulled up. Uh, basically, you can discard a rank-up magic spell to make this using a Utopia monster, so if you make a Utopia using the new Zexel Sage, you automatically have this requirement. It can revive a number monster from the graveyard, but what's more interesting is that it can also negate a monster effect that targets it and destroy that card so it's got built-in protection there's just a number of things going on this card that make it neat the best part of course being that it's 4,000 attack points so it does have a lot of power to sort of you know back itself up with and interestingly enough it can revive a copy of itself i don't know how often you would do that but it is a number uh the new challengers ones are around 15 to 20 dollars very few quantities left at all uh, about six of them I think the Mega Pack one has more quantities, but not by much. This one's at about seven listings and about eleven to twelve dollars. So you know this is pretty much disappearing from the market. If you don't have them already, uh, huge you know buy-in at this point. Obviously, I don't think the Utopia deck is going to be like super competitive, but I do think it has a chance to kind of stand on its own as a rogue strategy. So it's up to you to determine whether or not you want to pay this price on this. I do hope we get a reprint for this sooner than later, but we'll see where um, it ends up. Speaking of buyouts related to that, Zexal Weapon Leo Arms, the Ultra is about 15, and the Ulti is about 23 uh, or 30 for First Dead. This is a neat card, but I don't think you'd really play it in the deck. Uh, There's a new one that came out in Lightning Overdrive. It's Zexal Weapon Dragonic Halberd. I think it's actually a better Zexal weapon exceeds option, but this is decent. I mean, you can search some of your Zexal weapons. It does allow additional attacks. It can boost a monster significantly, so it might be worth looking at. Given the set that it's from, Cosmo Blazer, which is a set that's notorious for just, you know, being kind of hard to find, has, you know, high value. Some ultimate rares and stuff tend to rise over time. I'm realizing you're not going to be able to see this too well with the way I have this formatted, but it's uh, it's an interesting card to look at value-wise. I do think this buyout may stick at least a little, but you might see it trickle back down to around $10. The ulti is, you know, going, going, gone in terms of any cheap copies, but we'll see whether or not any new ones do get listed. It seems unlikely, but that's where that's at price-wise right now. Zexal Weapon Tornado Bringer is one of the best Zexal Weapons and one that you would play a one of in the deck. It basically makes it so the equipped monster can't be targeted by opponent's card effects and protects it from battle destruction. So this is a really solid one of to equip to whatever boss monster you finish on to give it extra protection. 28 copies of this card left. It's not extremely expensive. It's like a dollar, give or take. But the other one that you would play, which is Lightning Blade, which protects from card effect destruction, is much higher at this point. It has been pretty much cleared off the market, being $5 for the first edition uh, and about $6 for Unlimited. That being said, it's just one of those weird scenarios where I have to imagine that the other one may follow suit. We'll see where that goes, but Zexal Weapon Lightning Blade might be one you have in bulk or can, you know, have laying around. You didn't even know it was value. Maybe try listing them, see if you can make a sale, because there's only seven of these on the market right now. I do have one, and I do think you play one of each in the deck, so good uh, good card. Weird spike, but it, it makes sense, considering it only has the one print. 
Ascended Sage, of course, was in Lightning Overdrive. I talked about this card being a good long-term pickup, and it has not gone anywhere yet. But one thing to note that's really interesting and potentially a really good sign for its long-term value is the fact that it has not bottomed out to, like, a dollar like a lot of the other cards have in the set that are ultras that aren't seeing play. This is a really good generic card for any deck that can utilize rank-up magics. It does not have to be exclusively for Utopia. You make a Utopia with it, but it's not like you can't make Utopia double or something and then search the Raid Raptor rank-up spell or any other rank up spell you want this is just a good card and I, I can't stress enough that while i'm not giving you financial advisement i personally picked up two play sets of this and i very much anticipated doing well over time now speaking of cards that are worth looking at over time we have the uh evil twin live twin cards from blazing vortex and then of course the one in the new set so lila treat is about three dollars and change that's up from the dollar and change it was at for the longest time i do think it's decent but the best selling point this deck has going forward is that it's a fan favorite people love the live twin stuff it is neat i don't know how good it's going to be but you know people like it and i would say if you don't have these and you anticipate that at some point you might be interested in the deck that you're better off picking it up sooner rather than later. Uh, Live Twin Frost from Lightning Overdrive, another one that really hasn't bottomed out. I was hoping it would hit like a dollar like some of the other Ultras have, but it has not. It's around 4 to $5. I would recommend picking up a play set of this if you have any interest playing the deck because I do think, again, long term, the artwork and the fact that people like this, this archetype as a whole, even if it's not amazing, will benefit it in the long term. Speaking of which, uh, Lila is about $12. It seems to go up and down and sort of fluctuate. It did get a nice bump, but it's not going anywhere crazy. The, the real value seems to be shifting more towards Kisa Kill, which is about $13, almost $15, and has noticeably less listings, about 40 less listings. So I don't know what the long-term price impact is on these, no pun intended. Um, I do think, again, that this is a neat deck, and I think that it will retain some semblance of value but if we did get more support for it which seems to be coming out you know sporadically you might see these bump substantially so this is a card i'd recommend having if you're interested and lastly for today the amazement deck has seen some substantial buyouts over the past few days with a horror house almost cleared off the market with 22 listings left uh it's up to about seven bucks i do love the art with the ghost tricks on it um this is a really good card it's basically like a fiendish chain type for the deck it was two to two to two fifty. I said that maybe if it hit you know under two, pick it up. I don't think it ever got that low, but it does look like people chased after it. Uh, Comica is another one I mentioned. If it got under a dollar, it did actually very briefly, and then has again been cleared off the market. Thirty five results for this as an ultra, where some of the other ultras have like a hundred and ten listings. So you can clearly see market movement. Um, same with Cyclo Coaster. This is another one that was a dollar fifty. Uh, 27 listings left. It's doubled in price. I did pick these up yesterday uh, at about two and change when I saw them starting to rise. And again, I think you could do worse than picking this up. And of course, finally, Ad Administrator Arlecchino is up a bunch. It's almost 30 bucks. This was down to $16. I did talk about this one too being potentially solid. It's multi-faker for this deck. It does allow you to pull traps directly from the deck, which is just a really, really powerful effect. And I think people are underestimating this deck as a whole. I like it a lot. I think this is something to keep an eye on. You might want to wait a little bit and see if it does bottom out a bit more because it did get that spike, uh, but it looks like it's sticking. Uh, market price is up to 27 and there is not much in terms of listings, so you may be forced paying that price if it's something you want to play. I would just caution to, you know, do smart shopping. And finally, time tickets up from 15 to 20. A really good searcher for the deck. Only 27 listings on this. This is just an insanely good card to play. I mean, it, no matter what, it gives you super awesome boosts for your deck. Uh, strategy, either adding an amazement card if it's your turn, or setting a trap directly from the deck if it's your opponent's turn. This is just a really good card, and, uh, the better the deck does, the better this card's value goes, I think, because it's, like, the most generic thing. Typically, we see the search cards be the, the highest value, so that's something to note, but all of amazement has seen price spikes. These are still low enough if you want to grab them, if you have interest in playing the deck, but I think you're going to see them go up a little bit more, which as a whole is a good thing for Lightning Overdrive, because it does mean the set will have more value, and should hopefully make it a better long-term product for the player base. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the market changes. Are you interested in Amazement or Zexal Weapons or any of the other stuff from Lightning Overdrive? Drop a comment down below. Please like this video and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.